Erongo e ai tēnā tapito ko te atu e tū nei te ko kei fa te ko e tū ana ai 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 um, I'm part of the steering committee for the Karuoi, Karuoi project um, and today we're doing our main harvest. Where I live, back in Taranaki, I've got three community gardens. We've suffered from confiscations and, and a disconnection from our whenua and so we we used the, the garden as one of our avenues to, to bring people back to whenua. Lots of people might think that the reason why our hapu got into this was to become commercial growers, or you know, um, but that, that was never part of it. The key thing was to grow our children back up in, in te ao Māori, and if you're not connected to whenua, how can we do that? You know, it's not like we needed a farm, we just needed an acre, or even less. You know, you can do this in your backyard. It's been really great learning about all of this to do with the organic gardening. It's really exciting. It's something that it's bringing our family together mm. and young, younger ones that are joining and we're learning all sorts of things, all of us. Coming into this I didn't have a lot of interaction with my cultural side and that was something that I really wanted to learn and focus on. So um, doing things like this that um, our tūpuna would have done in their day um, is really interesting for me. When you've got your own children and you're raising your family, what's fundamental for me is actually being involved in that, you know, showing my babies how to grow their kai, showing my babies that it doesn't just come from the supermarket shelf, and the whole um, connecting to the whenua at the same time, you know, that's for me was really quite fundamental. We grew up here in Wetuika. Um, our whānau land is just over here, just literally over the fence. I remember all our neighbours grew kai and so therefore we would go to the river on the back of our father's tobacco trailer, pick up all the kids along the way and drop off kai on the way. So if we had an abundance of potatoes or pumpkins or tomatoes, then you know we would drop them off down the road. When we would get back from swimming, um, our back doorstep was full of kai. Whatever you had excess of, you gave to your neighbours because that's how we all live. There was a perfect opportunity there earlier today where, uh, where Renee got up and, and spoke about the kamo kamo distribution that she said. Now we weren't even going to grow kamo kamo, it just happened that by the time we'd finished with all of our potato and our kumara seed, we had like four extra rows and so well, what can we grow? Oh, well, let's grow kamo kamo. Now from that came hundreds of kamo kamo and 55 families received kamo kamo. 150 odd people, that's just from the ones that she distributed. There were ones that went to the marae as well and, and fed those people. This is a community empowerment kind of exercise. Yes, we're growing stuff, but we're also growing ourselves and community. Yeah. <laughs> 